Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Welcome to day one of the 12 days of Waxmas. You have 12 videos over the next 12 nights leading us right up to Christmas night. Uh, so I hope you do enjoy these videos coming up. Um, Basically, this first patient here came in with very, very blocked up ear canal just on one side. Patient had been blocked up, used some wax softening drops and found it just made the situation worse. Did manage to clear his other ear though. Um, what's actually happened here is where the wax softening drop has gone in, it's changed the consistency of the wax. So what we've ended up with now is a really sticky layer that's just starting to harden up a little bit. So an odd consistency, but completely covering the eardrum and the canal wall. So what we need to do first of all is get this canal wall as clear as we can. So what we're going to do is start peeling this off the ear canal all the way down to the eardrum because at the moment the wax is so dark and it has become so liquid it's actually formed just one big solid piece. Now unfortunately we can't see then when or where the wax ends and the canal wall begins so we need to uncover this canal wall first. You can see as we're drawing this off the ear canal that you get this lighter material underneath. That's the first layer of dry skin that's been sitting just underneath this wax. Um, so I'm just lifting off there we are, slowly peeling this down the canal wall. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of gentle probing just before it gets to the eardrum itself. And we can see that the wax is very, very sticky. You can see as I'm pulling this away, it's stretching off the eardrum. So yeah, really difficult consistency to work with here. Just aiming and teasing off that top right corner, but you can see it's not really budging. So we're going to carry on with this peel. It's a little loose bit there to the top left, but it didn't really come to anything. And centrally there, not, not really budging. You can see how difficult and how uh, blocked up this patient would have felt because there's just no gap in that wax at all. It's completely covered the eardrum. It's sticky. That then is stuck to, it, to the canal walls themselves. So really just bunging this patient up on this one side, bless him. Um, so what we've done now, we've started the peel to the, the right corner. I want to see if we can get a little bit more of a peel going. So I'm just going to see if we can loosen this a little bit more. And what you'll see is as we are lifting from this right side, it's just drawing a little bit more of the peel from the bottom left. But unfortunately now it's detached. So, uh, so we're going to have to try and see if we can peel a little bit more. We tried from the outside edge, but it didn't really budge. So we're going to come back a little bit further now. Just try and see if we can lift but it, the wax itself is so thin. You can see just how thin that layer is. And it unfortunately is just not solid enough to get that really good peel. So we're gonna aim for that left side, which is where we've just started the, uh, finished the last peel, I'm sorry. There, what you saw there, look at that bottom right corner. There you go, it's just coming away. Sorry, I think I said bottom left, I meant to say bottom right. But you can see this coming away from the canal wall. There we are, it's just lifted again now on the base. So we've popped a little bit more olive oil in here. We've turned the exposure up here on the endoscope as well, just to give us a slightly clearer view because it's so dark in there. Um, it does make the video a little bit juddery though sometimes when you pop the exposure up. So we've got a good grip now. There we are, just lifting. You can see us trying to tease this away, but it just got stuck. So we're gonna come back again now and see if we can peel down to that layer. There we are, we've got a good peel going now, lifting up. And again, and it should meet that layer we've just peeled. There we are. And watch what happens to the bottom left. Now, as we take that away, it started our next peel. So we'll get a grip there, see if we can draw this down the canal. There we are, starting to lift off. There we go. So now we've got a much better idea. When you look at the skin on the ear canal, there you can see where the skin ends and the wax on the eardrum begins. Um, thank you so much guys to everyone who's viewed and subscribed and liked and commented on the channel. We actually hit 100 million channel views. That was yesterday. So thank you so much for that guys. Um, so obviously you've got your 12 days of waxmas coming up now. We will take a little break then between Christmas and New Year and we'll be back again then in the New Year just because we shut down for a bit here as well, Audiology Associates. Uh, one more thing to tell you about the short tomorrow. Uh, we're talking about T-tubes and grommets. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned tomorrow. You will get your 12 days of waxmas video and you'll get your short, you lucky lot. Uh, so you're gonna get that as well tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one, it's a good one to watch. Um, back to the wax removal. So you can see now we've managed to open up the top left corner. There's just that little circles come away. And now we're just trying to probe the wax on the eardrum very gently, looking for any looser pieces that are gonna come away a bit more easily in here. 
holding on to it, really just trying to draw this in. But you can see we're struggling a little bit to, to get this off. It's so sticky that it's really stuck to that eardrum. Let's aim for a slightly different spot. We're gonna aim for this left-hand side now. There we are, you can see it. We're, what we're doing here is we're not pressing into the wax. What we're doing is we're staying slightly away from it, drawing the wax to the suction. So what will happen is it'll actually take it off the drum itself without putting any pressure on it. So you can see we've got this little solid piece to the top right corner. We're just peeling that down now and that's uncovered the top right section of the eardrum there. So as we pull this away, you'll just see the top right section. There we are. So now we're starting to break this down. The more wax we can take away from the outside edges, the looser the central section becomes because it hasn't got those side sections holding it in place. So you can see we're just slowly working our way around. There we are. You can actually see the wax getting sucked into the machine from the eardrum. So it's coming away really, really nicely. There we are, slowly teasing this off. There you go, we've exposed the top section. We've got this uh, middle section starting to get exposed. We're aiming for the bottom now of this wax. There we go, another section coming away. So we've, we've exposed about two thirds of the eardrum now. We've got this central line running through there. We've also got this peel left to do on the left hand side. Now, obviously we're working very, very close to this patient's canal walls, which patients can sometimes feel uh, is a little bit uncomfortable. We're okay here on this outer section of the ear canal, but when you get to the deeper sections further in, so closer to the eardrum, it can be quite uncomfortable for the patient. So the patient may feel uh, almost like a sharp uh, sensation when you're taking that away. So you can see as we're getting closer down here now, there we are, we've got another peel. It went down the one side, double back and peeled up the bottom end there. Very thin layer here to the left side. So we're just gonna tease, see if we can tease some of that off. So now we're gonna go back in, now we're gonna to need to try and uh, take some of this left-hand side pieces of wax away here. Now what we have, if you've got your eardrum here, you've got a central section of wax here, and you've also got a section just down here as well. So we're gonna to need to try and loosen some of those pieces away if we can. If we can expose this eardrum, this patient's gonna be hearing a lot, lot better. So trying to peel this away, but you can see it's very, very thin. So let's aim for the central section. Let's uncover the eardrum. Let's get this patient hearing better first. There we are. So we've got that central section away now. It's the piece you can see to the top right and the piece you can see there to the bottom left. So we're gonna just fine end on here because we're working in a really narrow space. We're trying to avoid the canal wall and the eardrum here. Not an easy position to remove wax from. There we go, we're just getting the grip, just suction some of it away. If we aim a little bit higher now, we're aiming for that section more sort of to the, the nine o'clock mark on the clock face. There you go, that's gone. Let's see if we can just take a little bit more from this bottom section if it, if it will come away. We've managed to get some away. We've exposed that eardrum there, which is great. Let's get this piece now to the top right corner. Very, very slowly, but don't forget the tip of the hammer bone is just behind that piece. So we've just got to be really gentle taking this away. There we go, there we are, it's come away now. So we've got, to, what's left to do now is to try and expose this left-hand canal wall. Um, so if we can, we're gonna try and take this away. Now, the reason I mentioned about it being uncomfortable is this patient did start to get a little bit of discomfort when we were taking these pieces away. Because it's a very, very sensitive part of the ear, um, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable to remove this. So I'm doing as best I can not to touch the canal wall, but the wax is so thin, uh, it's proving difficult to get it away without inadvertently just, just pressing against the canal wall slightly. You can see we're aiming, trying to get as many pieces away as we can. There, did you see that little movement then? Um, that's where the patient was feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Now that's when it's really, really important when you're doing these kind of procedures that you always maintain your bridge. Now the bridge is you always hold a little finger out, so you always got little fingers against the patient's head. If the patient then moves, both your hands move with that patient. You imagine if you didn't have that bridge, you just held the suction tube and that patient had moved, that tube would have gone straight through that eardrum. So it's really important that you do that. Um, you can see we've managed to clear it a little bit away, but the patient was just getting a little bit too uncomfortable 
comfortable at this point. So we've left this bottom left-hand section here. It was just too thin to remove, unfortunately, and too uncomfortable for the patient. The eardrum itself now, though, has been exposed. So I advise this patient then, next time they have a bath or a shower, just let the ear canal fill up with water, then empty it back out just to take that last little bit of debris away. Um, unfortunately, guys, there's no wax shot at the end, and I completely forgot to do a tank shot because it all got suctioned into the tank. I complete, I'll be honest, it completely went out of my head. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Um, we shall see you again tomorrow night for your second day of the 12 Days of Waxmas. As always, guys, take care. Don't forget to check out that short tomorrow as well. It's a good one. Um, as always, guys, take care. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow.